Hello everyone. Today in this video lesson we would like to talk about properties of the electric charges. We know as we have already discussed in the previous course, charges are of two types. Charges are of two types. They are positive and negative charges. Positive and negative charges. We have understood that when one body is rubbed with the other body, charges get transferred from one body to another body. This kind of this way of phenomena is called charge transfer by friction. Charge transfer by friction. One body getting rubbed with the other body, charges transfer can happen. And I would like to make it clear that what get transferred from one body to another body is always electrons what gets transferred is always electrons, never protons because protons are strongly associated with the nucleus. The body who lost electrons is positively charged, who lost electrons will have extra positive charges therefore it is called positively charged. And the body who gained electrons, body who gained electrons is said to be negatively charged. So, this tells you that charge is conserved, either created or destroyed, it just transfers from one body to that of the other body, charge is conserved. So, we are talking about the further basic properties of the charges. It is experimentally noticed that similar charges repel each other, similar charges repel and of course, opposite charges attract each other, similar charges repel each other and opposite charges attract each other. When there is a charge transfer happening from one body to another body, it always happens charge transfer happens like integral multiples of electrons means what either one electron gets transferred or two electrons gets transferred or three electrons will be transferred never a part of electron like 1.5 electron will never be transferred either one electron or two electron so what i can say basing on that total charge is number of the charge in, number of the charges number of the electrons transferred into the charge of the electron itself that means charge is always available as a integral multiples of charge of electrons this concept is called charge is quantized it's always available as a charge of electrons this concept is called something like charge is quantized always available as integral multiples of charge of electrons so, we are talking about the basic concepts like charge is conserved, charge is quantized and charge is invariable. Means what even when a uh, velocity of a particle changes, even when the frame of reference changes, charge is not going to vary. Charge follows additive property. What I mean by additive property, if I have to find out what is the total charge in any of the system? I have to say the total charge as simply the algebraic sum of the charges. What I mean by algebraic sum of the charges? Positive charges has to be treated like a, with a positive sign and negative charges has to be seen with the negative sign itself. So, algebraic sum of the charges has to be found out as a total charge that is called something like charges following a additive property. So, we are talking about uh, basic properties of the charges such that charge is uh, invariable, charge follows additive property, charge is quantized, charge is because of transfer of electrons and charge is conserved. And charge is treated as a scalar quantity. What I mean by scalar quantity? having a magnitude is sufficient to understand the charge, we do not need any direction at all, that is called something like 
it is treated like a scalar quantity. This charge is measured with a unit called something like coulomb. Charge is measured with a unit called something like coulomb. To know the dimensional form of the charge, we need to know the definition of the current. Current is defined as rate of flow of charge. So, I can say Q as I T. So, the current I is measured with a unit called something like ampere. Time is measured with a second. Of course, this is called something like Coulomb. If I have to say a dimensional formula, I is shown with capital I, T is shown with capital T, it will become the dimensional formula of this. These are the basic properties of the charges and we will continue our discussion further in the next video lesson. Thank you. We will continue this. Thank you very much.